When you put the tape on of Nick Herbig, the guy flashes right away and is very clear this is a good football player in the NFL. This is a guy that already has three sacks in two preseason games. and It's not like he played the entire game. He's only played like 40 snaps. But the guy looks very, very impressive and it's because of plays like this. Here he is going up against Deion Dawkins, the starting left tackle of the Buffalo Bills. This guy's going to give him a slight push to the inside. and He's going to sidestep and just use his speed right around the corner. For a rookie to be able to do this right here to a veteran left tackle is freaking impressive. And it's interesting because watching Herbert's tape at Wisconsin, I didn't see this. I don't know how he developed this. Maybe he came in and, and he took a couple of pass rush moves and he's really just trying to see if he can implement them in his game. But at Wisconsin, he didn't look as good as he looks right here. Because when I watched him at Wisconsin, I was not as impressed. But here, he looks like a freaking monster. I'm very, very fired up to get into this guy's tape. Let's jump right into it. Check the play out. Herbick's lined up in a wide nine. And watch him beat the tackle again. Now, this time, the tackle does initially win. But as Herbick's going to make his second counter move, you're going to see the tackle ends up holding him. And you're going to see the referee's going to actually call this play. And it's actually going to be called a hold. Uh, keep in mind, this was a completed pass for about 20 yards. So this is a massive hold. Within the game script, right? You don't want to hold. This was already a second and 24 in itself. And you almost get the first down on this play, but now it's coming back. Because Herbig's going to end up getting held by Deion Dawkins. Now, this is an interesting play because Dawkins is going to do what is referred to as a ghost move. He's going to go with the left hand up there. He's really just going to flash the hand. And the point of doing this is because it makes the opposing player react, right? It makes them get their hands up. And you see that this actually does impact Herbig. So initially, Deion Dawkins wins because he's going to throw the ghost move out there. He's going to flash the hands. Herbig's going to throw his move, which is that left hand. I'm not sure if he was going to use some sort of cross chop, but he gets his hand up because he thinks Dawkins is throwing some sort of punch. And from there, Dawkins really just gets his hands back on Herbig. And he does technically win the rep at this point. But the pass rusher here is going to do a great job hitting his second move. Bam, he's going to just get underneath Dawkins. And really break the contact. And you see it with the left hand right there. Dawkins has control of Herbick. He's going to get the left hand into Dawkins. He's going to toss him to the side. And Dawkins has that shoulder pad right there grabbed on. And that right there is easy for the referee to see. And the referee up here is going to throw the flag. It's a really, really nice rep. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. Check out the effort here by the outside linebacker. You're going to get a defensive line game. And Herbick is being asked to run the game to the inside. But the Bills are going to call a screen to that same side and look at Herbig change directions a couple times, get off a couple blocks, and help make the play. I mean, to me, it's just a really, really nice job by the outside linebacker. First and foremost, you see him here. He's going to come back to the inside to run the game, but he quickly recognizes that this is a screen pass. He's going to get his hands on the guard here, get off the block. To me, that change of direction right there is very, very unique. You see it. Look at how quickly he's able to put the left foot into the ground, change direction, get off the block. And then he understands the situation now, right? He understands that if he overplays this out here, the guard's going to kind of match that, block him, and the running back's going to just run it to the inside. And look at him understand the concept. As the running back's going to cut it back inside, look at him spin back to the inside. Bam. Gets off the block. This is arguably one of the best plays you will see on defense by one guy. Like, it does not get better than this play right here from start to finish. Just the overall really, really nice rep. Really good motor and high effort. Let's get into the next rep. Now, if this is the first time you guys are on this channel, do understand we look at both positive and negative reps. And one of the big concerns that I think some people will have with Herbig is how does he defend the run? Yes, he had multiple tackles for losses in college against the run. But, you know, stats don't oftentimes mean a whole lot, especially going from college to the NFL. Because in the NFL, you are asked to do things a little bit differently than you are in college, of course, right? First and 10 here, you're going to see an 11-yard run. And the thing with Herbick that he's going to have to improve on is going to be his strength. So as someone playing on the edge, when you make contact with the tackle, when you get those hands into the tackle, you need to hold your ground. You cannot let this tackle push you to the right. And I want you guys to watch relative to where the contact's made, how Herbick does get pushed back just a little bit. Right, you can see he does struggle a little bit to get off the block. And it's not a terrible job holding his block, but as you guys can see, the play does pop for 11 yards. And at the same time, him being super wide outside, he's already going to give up a little bit of ground to the inside. 
because he is already kind of lined up a little far to the outside. So he has to do a little bit of a better job getting off the block here and try to defend the run. Now, of course, do keep in mind, run fit is a true thing. He definitely has to contain his run fit, which in this instance is on the outside. But again, if you're going to play a light box, you have to be able to kind of step up and maybe take a chance and make a play. So again, not a big deal, but I did want to just point that out. I want to see how he continues to develop when it comes to his run game. I think he'll definitely take that leap as he gets more reps, more experience, and of course, as he gets stronger. Check out the left tackle Dawkins on this play right here, second and 11. He's going to try to jump the snap here, and uh, that's because you have a super fast outside linebacker, edge, defensive end, whatever you want to say, right? It's really the same thing when it comes down to nickel packages which is like 60% of the NFL at this point. That's a really nice job, right? Herbig's exploding out of there, and now Dawkins wants to kind of match that speed a little bit. He's a little antsy out of his stance. Expect this to continue as the season kind of continues for Nick Herbig. This is definitely something to kind of keep an eye on. Very fast out of his stance. Just wanted to point that out. Let's get into the next rep. Check out this next rep and watch how fast Herbic is out of his stance and how fast this guy is in his movement skills. The guy's very twitchy. He's very quick. Really nice first step. He does get laid out at the end of this. I don't think that matters a whole lot, right? To me, I think it's more impressive the fact that three people touch him within one play. A third and 13, true pass rush situation. You get an initial chip here by the running back. The left tackle is going to get to him. The slides to his side, so the left guard's going to also hit him. Uh, not a big deal, you know, you get a pancake at the end of it. But what sticks out to me about this play is just the twitchiness, the suddenness, the body movement. He's going to get the left hand up. He's going to dip past this running back. And you can see him basically get right around the running back super quickly. That's impressive. That movement right there is so sudden and so quick. It's explosive. It's a really nice job right there. Of course, he'll then at that point make contact with the left tackle. And he's not going to be able to win this rep because he is going to get triple teamed, but he does still do a pretty nice job taking this left tackle and at least driving him close towards the quarterback. He's trying to collapse the pocket. And it's interesting because you really got six blockers on this play with four guys rushing. And three of those six blockers are basically going to ogle towards one guy. And the other three defensive linemen are all basically in one-on-one -on -one situations. Well, what happens when Alex Heisman's in the game or TJ Watt is in the game? or one of these interior defensive tackles that know how to win are in the game, right? You're not going to be able to triple team this uh, defensive player here. So an interesting rep nonetheless. Let's go ahead and get to the next play. So one of the interesting things with Nick Herbig is he's obviously very explosive, but he definitely comes off to me that he's still a little raw and he still needs to continue to develop, which makes sense. This is only his second ever NFL game, and it's preseason. So a lot of these guys are backup or depth players that may not make the roster, Although in this game, he did go up against the first team unit, and he obviously had a very, very nice play against the left tackle. Uh, but in this instance here, you're going to get a tackle that's going to jump set him. The tackle is going to go directly towards him, and that's going to throw him off just a little bit. Usually, Herbert just fires up field and, and goes, right? In this instance, he doesn't because the tackle comes out towards him. So he's going to make contact with the tackle because he needs to defend the run before he can get into the pass rush. And in this instance, he does do that. And when he recognizes this is a passing play, the change of direction is freaking insane for me. And of course, he does get double teamed on this play. So he doesn't get the sack or the quarterback hit. But the change of direction is incredible. His first step, right? Zero to 100. The acceleration, the stop start quickness from a defensive end is a very, very, very impressive. Just a nice rep. Obviously, it doesn't lead into anything. But to me, you don't always need to look at a rep and say, well, did he get the sack? Did he get the quarterback hit? Because you can look at the movement within his body. You can look at the twitchiness. And you can come to the conclusion that those things are going to translate into a guy having, you know, a successful career or not. Check this rep out. He's going to try a spin move to the inside. The move doesn't look as clean to me. Uh, I think this is something he'll have to continue to develop on. Uh, but he does try something difference. This is the first time I saw him try this move. Uh, he does first and foremost hit the tackle a little high, not a big deal, uh, but he's going to use the right hand, punch the shoulder, and try at that point to spin off of the tackle back to the inside. And it just doesn't look very clean. Now, obviously, you got the defensive tackle kind of right there as well, but the move just doesn't look very clean. So just polish that up a little bit, just some criticism. Let's go ahead and get to the next rep. 
Check this out. You got the sack by Herbig, second and nine. Uh, it's going to be a speed move. He's going to really cross chop and attack the outside of this tackle. I mean, that is impressive as hell. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts within this play that I think we really need to talk about, we really need to analyze. First and foremost, right out of his stance, he explodes and he's quick and he's fast. And from there, he's going to jump to the outside with the right arm. He's going to chop down the outside arm of the tackle. And the tackle's lost at this point. So the tackle's going to, in a last-ditch effort, try to push Herbig into the ground. And Herbig does a great job with the right hand, the twitchiness, the ability to bend and keep himself upright. And from there, he's going to attack the quarterback's hand, force the ball out. I mean, it doesn't get better than that play right there. And, of course, the Steelers do recover the football. It doesn't get better than this. I mean, that is arguably one of the best plays you will see from any rookie defensive player, any player just generally speaking, any pass rusher. Of course, it is a speed move. And of course, he'll have to really continue to fine tune things. But it looks very impressive right now on tape for me. I don't know if there's a better edge player that was taken outside of the first round than this guy right now. Right. And I say that because, you know, the Tyree Wilsons, the Will Andersons, those are going to be the top edge rushers right now. Because those guys are a little bit further along in their development. But Nick Herbig looks freaking good. And it is very clear this guy's the real deal. Now keep in mind, he only played in 27 snaps in week two. He did play in 13 snaps in week one. And I want to just show you guys the two sacks really quickly that he had in the first week of the season. Check out the first sack he had. This came early in the third quarter. Second and eight. You got a play action by the offense. And Herbig just runs right around the tackle. His tackle right here is a year or two tackle. And Herbig just does a really, really nice job. To me, that's a great job to be able to just grab onto the quarterback's hand. I and mean, he barely grabs onto the quarterback. He's going to make contact. He's really attacking the football, it looks like, with the two hands. It looks like he's trying to get the ball out of there. And he's not able to, but he does grab onto the right hand of the quarterback right there. You can see him have control of the fingers. Just a beautiful job to get him down. And then you got the other sack here. This one comes on third and six. It's just a really, really impressive football player. Again, I don't think there's a better rookie edge player right now than Herbig. And what's crazy is you already got TJ Watt, top three to four player at that edge position. Alex Heisman's looks really, really good. And now you got Nick Herbig coming out of nowhere, dominating. I mean, this right here is such a nice move. Uh, so he's going to really set this up as a speed rush. And then he's going to use the right hand. And he's going to get that to the inside chest plate. He's going to lift the tackle up. He's going to use the left hand, bring it over the top. A slight swim move, break the contact. And this right here is freaking impressive. Holy crap. You know, again, we don't have a whole lot of reps with Nick Herbig. Just 40 reps, right? 40 snaps so far over the first two weeks. Keep in mind, there's some rookies that will play like 45, 50 snaps in just one game. So this guy has 40 over the course of two games. Plus, he has reps against the first team. Plus, he has reps against the first team offense of the Buffalo Bills, and he crushed them. To me, this guy's a very, very good football player, and I'm very fired up to continue to watch Nick Herbig as he develops over his rookie season, as well as Broderick Jones. If you guys did not watch the Broderick Jones video from last week, make sure you guys check that out. We may do another video of his game. I believe he pretty much played in every single snap. Don't quote me on that, but he definitely played a big portion of this past game. So if this is the first time you're on this channel, please consider subscribing. We will be covering the Steelers this season, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.